Hello and welcome to Tuesday's English lesson and I'm excited to be once again joined by Mr Fenn. Of course it was only my dulcet tones you heard on yesterday's video. But we've got you back Mr Fenn for today. Great to be back Mr Lake. You must be raring to go. Rolled my sleeves up, ready to get stuck in. Let's go. Excellent, let's go. So today our job is to use expanded noun phrases. Of course that's not new to us is it? We looked at them last term at school. Plus we've looked at them during home learning as well a few weeks ago. So, expanded noun phrases. Let's begin then with just your, your standard noun phrase, okay? So a noun phrase is made of a determiner and a noun, okay? Determiners, you don't need to remember the word at this stage, but those are just words that introduce a noun, okay? Words like the, a, some, many, two, three, four, my, your, okay? They're words you put before a noun. Then a noun is a... It is, um, well, it's sort of the name of a, well, it's a person, place, thing, or an idea. Absolutely, okay. It's kind of, I used to think of it, uh, before I became a teacher, I always thought this is, is like, oh, noun, then naming word, names of things, naming yeah. words. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. yeah. And it, we've looked at this before, how in a sentence they're like the who or the what of the sentence, okay? So here our noun is cup, right? Mm. It's a thing, it's an object, yeah. okay? So we've got determiner, the, cup, the noun, okay? Another one then, we've got some sweets, okay? So Mr. Fenn, what is the determiner? Well, some. Yeah, that introduces the noun. It tells us that we've got more than one as mm. well, doesn't it? Okay, and then the noun is? Sweets, that's the name of the the thing yep. in the sentence, yeah. Absolutely right, okay? So there we go, noun phrases, determiner and noun. All right, but we're not looking at noun phrases today, we're looking at expanded noun phrases. So let's go back to this one here, the cup, that's our noun phrase. Let's expand it, let's turn it into a into a um, expanded noun phrase. And I'm going to have to put an adjective somewhere. So Mr. Fair, can you remember where do I want to put this adjective? Yeah, I think we put the adjective yep. in front of cup. Yep. And then that adjective, because adjectives describe the noun, don't they? Yep, absolutely. So we so, could put in, I mean, we could put in red or big. Yep, so I'm just going to update this, because yeah, now okay. these are expanded noun phrases we're looking at. Okay. So expanded noun phrase is a determiner, adjective, Adjectives no. describe the noun. Okay, Absolutely. so, um, so I don't know, just the red cup. There we Absolutely. go. You're right, simple as that. Okay, so the noun phrase was the cup. Expanded noun phrase, we put an adjective between the determiner and the noun, and now we've got the red cup. Yeah? Yeah. Simple as that. Okay, so some sweets, that's a noun phrase, but we want to turn it into an expanded noun phrase. Okay. okay, so I need an adjective, a describing so word. Adjective, we could say some yummy sweets, yep. some delicious sweets. Or, to be honest, I look at those and I think colourful. So yeah, I, yeah, I agree. Yeah, yeah. let's go with colourful. So some colourful sweets, yeah? We've got the determiner, then the adjective, colourful, then the noun, sweets. Okay, Great. yeah. Simple as that. So. Quick task for you, here illustrated by our picture of a racetrack. All right, you're gonna see in a moment some noun phrases. I would like you to turn those noun phrases into expanded noun phrases. Remembering it's determiner, adjective, noun, okay? So here are the noun phrases. We've got a toy, some coloring pencils, and my bike. I want you to turn those noun phrases into expanded noun phrases. So a something toy, and so on, okay? So if you could hit pause now, Make sure, in fact, you get a bit of paper or your exercise book and a pencil and have a go at this quick task. Hit pause now, please. Action! <laughs> so hopefully you've done that. If you, if you haven't, just hit pause now. Um, yeah, so, I mean, we, we can't mark this because you could have given thousands, millions of answers. There's a lot of adjectives in the world, Mr. There Lake. Are. But should we just... Let's we, make up some. Let's make up some so hopefully you can see... You've got the idea. So, a toy. A, uh, a fast toy. A yeah. fun toy. Yeah. A big toy. Um, yeah, a excellent. small toy. A tiny toy. Fantastic. A soft yeah. toy. 
there's so many, the possibilities are endless, mm. okay? I like a soft toy. Yeah. Like a teddy bear or something. So a soft yeah. toy. There we go. I bet Expand you like numbers. to um, snuggle up with a soft toy at night, don't you? <laughs> teddy bear, yeah. yeah. Um, so there we go. We've got the determiner, then the adjective, then the noun. A soft toy. Okay. Okay, some colouring pencils. Right, can we say this? At the same time, I wonder if we're thinking of the same thing, right? Okay, okay. Three, three, two, one, one. sharp. <laughs> <laughs> not planned, honestly, not. No. <laughs> oh dear, yeah, that was great, yeah. Okay. No, that was really good. And I almost worry people are going to watch that and think we've rehearsed. We don't rehearse these videos, no. do we? <laughs> <laughs> so, okay, I'll be sharp. honest, I, I don't think many people are worried we're rehearsing. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> too polished, too yeah. polished. Right, some sharp colouring pencils, okay? okay. Determine us some. Um, Adjective sharp, noun, colouring pencils. Okay. Okay. My something bike. So my, I need an adjective and I need to place it between the determiner and the noun. Okay. Um, my. I think we'll think of different ones. Yeah, here. I do as well. I, I mean, I'm thinking red or fast. Yeah, so it could be the colour, yeah, speed. Um, um, old, new. Cool. Cool. My cool bike. Yeah, my, yeah, yeah, I like cool, my cool yeah. bike. For me, it would be my my broken bike, wouldn't it? Which is yes, sadly you. still here. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. What can you do? Right. So here we go. Then fix, fix it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so we've got some expanded noun phrases: a soft toy, some sharp coloring pencils, my cool bike. Okay. Formula for this is quite straightforward: determiner, adjective, noun. Okay. So that's our warm up complete, Mr. Fenn. Okay. So let's go into the main part of today, mm -hmm. because. We are opening up our own shops. Ah, great. Right? Very exciting, isn't it? Now, it's up to you to decide what kind of shop it is. So you might want to open up a toy store. Mm. Um, toy store? Toy store. Are you, very are American. you American? Yeah, a toy okay. shop. Yeah. Um, but there's definitely a gap in the market for that now that Toys R Us is yes. gone, I think. So yes. maybe a toy shop. Maybe you want to open up a sweet shop. Yeah. Um, could just be a supermarket. Don't see many sweet shops nowadays. No. When, when I was a boy, mm -hmm. there was a lot more sweet shops. Yeah, it was a different century. And you it? <laughs> it literally was. Yeah. 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 <laughs> you used yeah. to go in, you get a paper bag, and start, some of them, some of them, some of them. And yeah. And also Woolworths. I mean, pick and mix. So yeah. They that, they yeah. Even pick and life. mix. It's not a wrap and a ham sandwich. Not in our day, no, was it? No, no, pick a mix with some toast. Sweets, yeah, yeah, from Woolworths. Yeah. You'll, you'll, never, you'll never know the joy of Woolworths. <laughs> so, you're opening up your own shop, okay? Up to you what your shop sells, all right? Our task today is to think of some of those items that are going to be in our shop, and we're going to write these as expanded noun phrases, okay? Great. Because also, our, our big task throughout this week, you're going to want to convince people to come to your shop, right? Yeah. And in fact, if I go into this now, hopefully you'll see how an expanded noun phrase might help with this, right? So, I've decided, Mr. Ben, I'm going down the route of a toy shop. Okay. Okay. Let's look at some of the toys. My, my toy shop, though, is a toy shop with a twist, because I've only included toys that I played with when I was a kid. Yeah. So this, is, this toy shop is exciting to me, but some of you might watch, watch what's coming up and think, what on earth are these things from the olden days? But here we go. Okay. So the first thing I've got in my toy shop is this thing here called a Game Boy. Okay. Did you have a Game Boy, Mr. Fenn, when you were? Yes, I, I had a Game Boy, yes. Did it look like that? Yes, it, yeah. did, it did look like that, yeah, yes. Those were the days. So a Game Boy, for those of you at home, you might have a Nintendo Switch if you're very lucky. Um, long, long before the Nintendo Switch, this was like your handheld gaming device, right? It was black and white, wasn't it? Well, sort of green and yeah, yeah, the, yeah green so there's no colour on yeah, no colour. Yeah. You can only really play. I remember you could play Tetris. Um, yeah, all the blocks were the same colour. You could play like Mario, but quite simple games. So yeah, it, it's a bit like the Switch, but not as good because it's much older. Okay, so I'm going to. So I've got a Game Boy. That's in my shop. All right. Okay, but I'm going to write this as an expanded. Because, yeah, okay. I'm thinking, yeah, would you like to buy a Game Boy? Yeah, I suppose. Yeah. But let's, well, let's see if you can, yeah, okay. okay. Yeah, so it sounds quite good, it, but... A brilliant. <gasps> oh. Game Boy. Wow. 
but now I want to buy it. Exactly, right? Yeah. What, what sounds more, what, what convinces you, what persuades you more to come to my shop and buy my items? Yeah. Is it if I say, would you like a Game Boy? Yeah, yeah. Or would you like a brilliant Game Boy? A brilliant Game Boy, yes, please. Exactly, okay. Oh, yeah. There we go. That's why we want expanded noun phrases today, okay? You've got to really sell these things that your shop yeah. has to us, okay? You want to make us come to your shop. So, there we go. My first item is a brilliant Game Boy. Cool. Okay, if you want to, feel free to draw your things. So, for me, I draw my little Game Boy. I used to draw Game Boys quite a lot as a kid. Yeah, it doesn't surprise me. You can tell this is, this is somebody that's practiced that. Right, so there we go. I've got my expanded noun phrase and a picture of my first item. Okay, next up, do you have one of these, Mr. Fenn? Um, yeah, and I actually, um, this is a, a Tamagotchi. A Tamagotchi. Which is like a pet, but it's an electronic thing you keep, you can just hold in your pocket. But yeah, yeah I am, I, I remember going with my dad and my brothers and we queued up outside Toys R Us at like five in the morning really? to get one because they were so popular. You yeah. had to queue up early in the morning or they sold out. Yeah. yeah. So Tamagotchis were, they were like this little electronic thing and, and you had like a kind of pet thing on it and you, you just had to look after it basically. Yeah. Didn't you? Otherwise, it, yeah. that was the end of the pet. Yeah. Um, so yeah, yeah, and w yeah, they were very, very popular. Very popular. Very yeah. popular. Um, so I'm again, maybe you're not sold on it if I just say, would you like to buy a Tamagotchi? Mm, yeah. So I'm gonna put, I'm gonna turn it into an expanded noun phrase. Okay, this time I'm going to write a. I could go with fun. Tamagotchi. Yeah, I mean, it sounds better than yeah. just Tamagotchi, it's okay. Yeah, Fun some of you yeah. might to expand your expanded noun phrase a bit more. Yeah. So you might want to, I'm gonna go not for one adjective, not for two, but three, okay? Because we you... know how to use commas, right? Okay, okay. So, I know my noun phrase is a Tamagotchi, I just need the adjective yeah. for that noun. So I'm gonna put a fun, Amazing. Okay. And put yeah. the last adjective. Yeah. And exciting. Tamagotchi. Okay. So this is still an expanded down phrase, right? It's just that rather than one adjective, we've gone for three. Now. I like to call these, Mr. Lake. I like to call them a mega expanded noun phrase. Mega expanded now that is not. The real name for them. You will not find that. So if you have your um, <laughs> grammar test in a few years' time, don't put mega expanded noun phrase. That's not a real thing. But I like to call them that. Yeah, yeah, no, I can, I can see that. <laughs> and again, though, so first of all, we have a Tamagotchi. So, Mr. Fenn, would you like to buy a Tamagotchi? Yeah, maybe, I suppose. Mr. Fenn, would you like to buy a fun Tamagotchi? Yeah, some. Yes, 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 yes yeah. 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 Mr. Fenn, would you like to buy a fun, amazing, and exciting Tamagotchi? Give me one now. There I need it. I have to have one. Okay. Yeah. That's even better. Now, you don't want to overload it, do you? I think three's enough, really. You don't want to just list loads and loads of yeah. adjectives. Otherwise, it starts to sound a bit silly. So, yes. that was like, would you like to buy a fun, amazing, exciting, awesome, wonderful, incredible, and super? I think you also want, yeah, you also want to, yeah, I can limit it to three. Yeah, no more than three. And think about, does it makes sense yeah absolutely yeah so yeah you know words i've had in the past you know rip roaring yeah i've, I've heard someone say microscopic yeah just didn't great quite, sounding words great words yeah. that just didn't quite fit in yeah. this case so you want yeah. adjectives that really do fit and describe yeah. it okay so my expanded noun phrase well i first went for a fun tamagotchi but i settled on even better a fun comma amazing and exciting tamagotchi okay cool Right, my last thing on the list. These, these were my absolute favourite as a child. And actually, I think these made a bit of a, a comeback in recent years. Um, so these were Thunderbirds. Do you remember Thunderbirds, Mr. Fenn? Yes. They, they were. So if you've not seen Thunderbirds, how to explain it? Basically, it's just this family that... They, they had a, a sort of company called International Rescue, and they go and help people that are in trouble. 
But the main part of it was that they had these Thunderbirds, which were like different ships. So that's Thunderbird 2. That one could fly, but also store stuff in it. It had little pods. And then that's Thunderbird 4. That one went underwater. Um, yeah, 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 they were... Do you want to get on with the, the lesson yeah, yeah. now? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, they, it was very exciting. So, my noun phrase is some Thunderbirds, yeah. right? Um, I'm thinking, again, I mean, it's pretty similar adjectives. I'm just trying to make them sound better, right? So I could do some awesome Thunderbirds. Awesome's a good word, yeah. Yeah, so let's go with that first of all, all right? Okay. Some awesome Thunderbirds. Cool. Okay, yeah, Yes. great start. We could, again, go for the old three adjectives, expanded yeah. noun phrase. So, okay. some, now I had these toys, and I think what what I quite like to get across was that they were pretty big, these things. Yeah. Like, yeah. So I'm thinking, I don't know, colossal, or large, or huge. Okay, okay. So I'm going to put that in the bank. So awesome, huge, I'm going to put entertaining as well. It's yeah, word, entertain. yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. there's a toy shop called the Entertainer, the entertainer so yeah. yeah, obviously okay. it works. Yeah, some entertaining, S some huge. I'm gonna go for some huge. Yeah, some huge, comma, awesome. Oh, missed the meter and entertaining. Thunderbirds. Lovely. Okay, so there we go. I've, I've gone through now three different items that my shop sells, okay? So they were a Game Boy, a Tamagotchi, and some Thunderbirds, all right? But now, hopefully by creating expanded noun phrases, I've kind of made you more interested in coming to my shop, right? So I've got Mr. Fenn, would you like to come and buy a brilliant Game Boy, a fun, amazing, exciting Tamagotchi, and some huge, awesome, and entertaining Thunderbirds? Yes, please. Yep, there we go. Okay, so your job then, first of all, is to use expanded noun phrases to create a kind of list of items that you're selling in your shop. Yeah, okay, so you might, well, I suspect you will go for a different kind of shop to one that exclusively sells toys from decades ago, all right? But your job is just to write up your expanded noun phrases. What does your shop sell? But make them sound great, okay? And to help you with this, I've sent some adjectives in your resources pack that might be helpful, yeah? Amazing, incredible, fun, super, great, brilliant, yeah? So we want a list of things that your shop sells, but we want you to write them as expanded noun phrases, determinate, adjective, noun, okay? Once you've done that, an optional activity, to go on top of this, but we'd love for you to have a go at this, just to practice using your commas a bit more, and start to write a list of the things, your expanded noun phrases, but do it as a sentence using commas. So for me, it might be, so in my shop, you can buy a fun, can you remember how many things was I selling that I've come up with today, Mr. Fenn? Three things. Three things. Okay. So, in my shop, you can buy a fun, fun Game Boy, Boy, a... What was it? There was Thunderbirds. What was before the Thunderbirds? Tamagotchi. And Tamagotchi. Fun, um... Well, well, yeah, we can... An awesome Tamagotchi. Yeah. Like. Whatever, let's make it up. An awesome... Tamagotchi. Do I need another comment? No, we're just going to go for and. Yeah, because it's before the last item on the list. So, and. And some. Some. Uh, ah, yeah, Some. Marvellous. Oh, I like it. Marvellous. Marvellous Thunderbirds. <clears throat> some marvellous Thunderbirds. Full oh, stop at the end, okay? So now I've got a full sentence. In my shop, you can buy a fun Game Boy, comma an awesome Tamagotchi, and some marvellous Thunderbirds. Cool. Already sounding pretty good. So come up with, I've only come up with three. You might want to come up with quite a few more than that. Write your expanded noun phrases. 
use some of the adjectives that we've given you, but come up with your own as well. And then try and put them into sentences using commas in a list. Hopefully that all makes sense. Thank you for watching. See you next time.